Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we'll be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this incredible fast and easy to prepare recipe called Edi Kain Kong. So this is the real vegetable soup of the Bibios and FX people. So guys, wear your extra and let's begin. To prepare our Edi Kain Kong soup, you will need these ingredients. Here we have our already washed stockfish and catfish and we have our perwinkle still in the shelf we have our goat's meat and cow skin here we have our banana pepper yellow and red crayfish maggi and onion here we have salt thyme granite crayfish um, maggi and ginger powder also we have our already washed water leaf and sliced and our already washed ugu and also sliced so let's get started we are going to begin by cooking the meat until it is almost tender. And to the meat, I'm going to also add the stockfish and the dry fish. We're going to season with a teaspoon of thyme. A teaspoon of ginger. A teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of chicken bouillon. And also the abanaro pepper, the yellow and the red pepper and the onions were blended. I'm going to give put that into the mix. Give it a very good turn. Turn everything together, combine everything properly together. We're not going to add any water to this soup. We're going to cover this pot and allow this meat to become a little bit tender. All the ingredients for this Edekai Kong will be in the description box. There is need for us to keep an eye on the pot. We have to make sure that the water does not totally dry out while the meat, the stockfish and everything is still cooking. We're not going to add any water. We'll allow the meat water to cook itself. As you can see here, the water is almost dry. Almost though, but not too dry. Now we're going to start cooking our soup by adding other ingredients. I'm going to start by adding one cup of palm oil. And please, I beg you, don't add any other onion again to this soup. For you to get that real Edikai Kong taste, there is no need for any further onion. The one we use to steam the meat is just okay for the soup. Now I added some granite crayfish. I'm going to give this a mix and cover it to simmer for like two minutes before I put the water leaf.
After adding the water leaf, you're going to give it a very good mix. And now, here comes the flavor of the soup. We're going to allow this water leaf to cook for seven to like 10 minutes. Yes, believe me, we're going to cook this water leaf until it is properly cooked. That is where our water is going to come from. The water we're going to use from this edikai corn. I'm adding more crayfish. If you have enjoyed this video up to now, smash that like button and for more recipes like this, please subscribe, support me. Thank you. It's about 7 minutes now of cooking this water leaf. Now I'm going to add the parawinko to cook for like another 2 minutes. Give it a good mix, cover it and allow it to cook for another 2 minutes. It's already 2 minutes. Now I'm going to add the ugu and some fresh pepper just for coloring, you know. Give it a very good mix. Lastly, I will be adding the crayfish maggi, but you can add a grinded crayfish and taste for salt, give it a stir. Please be mindful of the salt and stock cubes because the vegetable soup can easily become salty. Remove from fire and enjoy with fufu, pounded yam, semo or eba. For me, I'm going to eat my own with fufu. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more mouth-watering recipes like this. See you in my next video. Thank you so much.